Vancouver says she fears for her children's safety after a road rage conflict with her neighbor. Well, Vancouver police say the tensions escalated to the point that a gunshot was fired. Fox 12's Leslie Dominique joins us in the studio with both the suspect and the victim's point of view. Yes, Pete Riel, today two neighbors faced each other in court after a road rage incident triggered gunfire in the presence of children. Now here on three allegations of assault in the first degree. Tensions fire in court after a Vancouver road rage incident between neighbors. I don't even want to go in my car right now, and neither do my children. Vancouver police say Sunday night, a man fired a shotgun through a woman's windshield while two of her children were inside the car. I do not want him anywhere near my children. It all started at I-5 and 78th Street when the drivers were both headed home. The woman says the suspect tailgated her until she turned from Fruit Valley Road onto Northwest Bernie Drive. He cut me off with my kids in the car and slammed on his brakes and in an attempt to get to hit my vehicle, to hit his car. A different story is told by the suspect, Eric Odegaard, who was returning home from hunting. He says the female driver was, quote, being erratic and driving towards him, and that she was the one who cut him off. The cars turned onto Bernie Drive, an area where both drivers live. And when I saw his bumper sticker, I knew that he lives three houses away from me. The victim told police she went to Odegaard's house to document his license plate. The suspect says he then took items out of his vehicle. The things that were in my hands at the time happen to do with the time of year and the season that it is. A handgun in one hand and a shotgun in the other. Odegaard claims the woman's car was driving directly at him and told police, quote, I thought they were going to run me over. Moments later, the shotgun fired. My windows were up. I was well away from him. And you do not draw a gun and shoot at somebody. That was not your first response. The shot went through the back of an unoccupied car seat. The children left unscathed. While the mother fears for her family's safety, the suspect says his finger slipped. And police report that there were no injuries other than temporary hearing loss for the victims. The suspect's next court appearance is November 4th. Live in studio, Leslie Dominique, Fox 12, Oregon.